the fretwork pattern has been applied to the inside of the organ. And that's because I have all these pieces of wood already glued on here and I need a flat surface. I'm using a scroll reverse blade, 13 to 15 teeth per inch with 3 to 7 reverse teeth. So it's cutting up from the bottom as well as cutting down from the top. And you really do not get any blowout with that. And these cuts are very smooth coming off the scroll saw. It's almost like it's polished. You need to be very careful when you're cutting out the pattern that the pattern hasn't had some mistakes drawn on it like this. These lines shouldn't be here. Check out where you're going to cut. Drill some holes in here for your saw blade to go into. And on some of the larger areas are more complicated. I often put more than one hole. lines on this pattern are kind of blurred. They're not very well defined. So I'm just cutting right down the center. Most everything in here is a curved line, but you want to pay particular attention to these straight lines. If these are crooked, it will be very noticeable when viewed from the outside. And you can see how nice and smooth that cut is with the scroll reverse blade. You have teeth cutting up from this side as well as down from the top.
This is the fretwork pattern for the top of the organ. And in this case, the design is solid black. And the edge of the design is a little bit blurred. So the way I've been cutting this out with the saw blade, you just skirt the edge of that black and just barely leave a little bit of white showing. If you get a little bit off track with your saw blade, use the edge of the teeth to sand back gently to where you want to be and just carry on with the cut. The reason for the fretwork, besides hopefully being attractive on the front when it's done, is to let the sound out better than the first organ. There are three pipes inside the case and they are pointed forward. The sound comes out okay, but I thought it could be better. I'll put these out here on the side. The front will probably have some large openings in the corners of the support for the front pipes like I did on the first organ. When the conductor comes out, a bit of a hole is open behind his platform. And then I put the front work on the top up here. It also gives more visual appeal. You can watch the bellows and the reservoir working on the inside, the crankshaft, the connecting rods. You can watch the music pass over the tracker bar. And because of the conductor on the front, he takes up space. And that requires three more pipes being buried inside here. And they will be pointed towards this side fretwork. <laughs> 